Alright, what's up guys? This is Lucas here. So today I will be walking you through some example cross solves. So I have done some normal walkthrough solves in the past, but those really aren't uh, focused on cross. It's more uh, F2L. Um, so I'm making this video just to kind of walk you through my thought process because cross is a very important step, the first step. And uh, yeah, if you mess that up, the whole solve is pretty much toast so yeah you gotta have a good cross and a good transition to F2L so I'm here to help with these example solves so I'll be doing about 12 uh, hopefully I can get a uh, wide variety of cases so uh, let's get started so I'll put the scrambles in the description And by the way, these uh, these will be all on white cross. I will be making only white cross. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> and also, I kind of anticipate that this really won't be for uh, beginner solvers because uh, I'll kind of be going through uh, cross to F2L transition. So that requires a little bit of uh, advanced techniques, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So, okay, here we go. All right, so this cross is okay. Um, I can see my first pair, which is nice. So we've got all of the cross pieces kind of close together. So here's the orange one, green one, blue, red. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these three cross pieces down and then I will do a D2 and then place this one down. So let's go ahead and do that. So L prime, F, R prime, okay? And then I can do a D2. And I saw an inspection that uh, this corner would come up to here. This is totally unaffected. So all I had to do was just trace this corner. And after I do an F prime, D prime, that'll leave me with this pair. I can go into that. Okay, so this one's eh, decent as well. I can also see my first pair. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be tracing uh, the um, orange-green pair. So this corner is going to end up right here, and this edge is going to end up uh, right here. So what I'm first going to do is place these two opposite uh, or you know what I mean, like these two cross colors that are opposite to the centers. I'm going to put them down and I'm going to do a D prime and place these two down. And just as I predicted, uh, this pair is back here. So I can go ahead and do that. Okay, so I noticed yellow is pretty nice, but white also isn't terrible either. Um... Yellow is so tempting, but I said that I was only going to do white cross, so, uh, it's okay. I can see my first pair. It's actually the same one. Uh, all right, so, <clears throat> these two cross pieces are conveniently placed, and then they'll kind of set up these two nicely. So what I can do is place those first, and then I have these two cross pieces left to put in. And I'm also tracing where this edge is going to be. Okay. And when I move over, I can simply insert like that. So right off the bat, I see my, or I see a pair made. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Uh, that's probably going to take up most of my inspection. Because I really want to make sure I um, use that effectively. So this is actually a weird way to preserve it, but I'm going to start out with an R2, okay? And then I can, um, see it's back here. So I can place up this blue edge and then do F, L, R prime, F2. And then that leaves it back here. Not the most convenient place, but it works. And I can go into it. I mean, just... As long as I was able to preserve that, uh, that's all I really needed. So, 
uh, just having a pair done is always really nice. All right, so here is a X cross opportunity. So right off the bat, I noticed that there's this corner attached to this edge. Um, and also these two are placed pretty well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, position this uh, edge for the X cross so that I can insert it after I uh, position all my cross pieces on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is L and then I'm gonna put this red piece down and then do D F, okay? And then I can just go and insert this like that. Okay, so this is also pretty interesting. I've got a free pair right here and the blue piece is right here as well. So I'm gonna break this up, but it's still gonna be a three move insert. So what I can do is, um, I see that this is uh, right over the red piece. So if I move this blue cross piece over here, then that uh, positions it pretty well. And then I can do F prime to put this red over here. And R2, U prime, L, F prime. That leaves the three move insert that I talked about earlier. Okay, so this is an example where I'm just going to kind of wing it because I can't really see my first pair in inspection very well. Um, I kind of have an idea of where it could be. Uh, but when I have a situation like this, what I try to do is um, do a cross that will um, keep the pair... Uh, pretty much the same way it is as uh, before I do my cross solution. So I just try to keep it intact pretty much and just hope for the best. Um, that's kind of, it's kind of unfortunate when you've got situations like that, but uh, they happen, so you gotta deal with them. So what I'm gonna do is I see two options right here. I see this and this. So, <clears throat> uh, my instincts tell me that if I move them to the top layer, uh, that's generally going to be pretty good uh, for this case. So what I'm going to do is um, place these two down first, and then this one, and then do a D2, and then place this one down, something like that. So here we go. Place that over, and then to move this to the top, I do something like that and then place this one. Sorry if it's a bit hard to follow. Um, it's just kind of how it goes. So, and then R, D2, and then place this in. So my instinct was pretty good because it stayed in the top layer and they're both together. So it just, this just takes a lot of practice. It's honestly very hard to explain. Moving pieces to the top layer is honestly probably uh, the most desirable if you can't see your first pair. So that, that's the general rule of thumb. It's not always the best option, but here is pretty good. So uh, maybe rewatch that, but um, these ended up pretty well and I can continue with my saw pretty smoothly. All right, so this cross is a little bit finger tricky, but uh, I can see my first pair, so that's all good. Um, so initially I see this pair made, or this block, but I'm not actually going to use that because this piece would be inconveniently located uh, once I finish, so X cross is uh, not really possible here. Well, it is possible, just not great. So then I move on, and I see this um, white corner next because um, my cross would uh, move it to right here so then I kind of look to see where this edge is going to be and it will finish at the top so that's a pretty good first pair uh, rotationless too so let's go ahead so I put these down first but while I'm doing that I'd also put this over um, and then I can do L R, D prime, R, and as you see right there, it can go straight in. 
And then just finish up the rest. Man, all these salts are so fast. I'm getting like ZBs. It's kind of crazy. Alright. White looks absolutely ins- or yellow looks pretty crazy, but can do yellow. Here's another situation where I can see a first pair, but honestly it's so bad that I'm just gonna end up tracing something that's that will be in front of me. So I know where these, uh, this red green will end up, but it'll be in the back and that's not really good. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to trace in these two because I know they'll be in front of me. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of where they will be. Uh, yeah, actually I've taken the time and I know where they'll be. So it's, it's going to be a pretty nice setup. Obviously I wouldn't have that much time in inspection. So I just hope for the best. And, um, yeah, so here we go. So I move this green over and then move this over. And I see that, <clears throat> um, as I place these pieces, um, they'll be, uh, in front of me. So I go like that. Okay. And then, honestly, I probably wouldn't do this in a solve, um, but even though they'll be in front of me here, I could do something like that, kind of like an X cross, uh, but I, again, I probably wouldn't see that, uh, but just the best thing to do right here is that. So, whatever, uh, I just got the pieces in front of me, so that makes me happy. And again, I'm working on those situations too. Like I'm by no means perfect in uh, the transition. Okay, so I notice uh, this pair right in front of me. So when I do my cross, I'm gonna be tracing that. Uh, they should be on the right sides and that's uh, pretty good still. Um, so when I do my cross, I'll place this over and then this down and I'll do the blue next, and then the red, move it up, and then over, down, okay? And I've got these two here, so I can go like that. All right, this is a really nice cross because uh, I will be able to form a pair, and then um, I'll do a semi-cross, or a, like a three, like three-fourths of a cross with this pair, and then I'll be able to insert it um, like cancel into inserting it when I put this down. So I notice that when I do L, R, F, R prime, this will be made and I can go into that. Okay. And, uh, luckily I got this made so I could, I'd probably go into that next maybe. Uh, yeah, cause I'd be able to see that right away. Okay. Yellow has a phenomenal X cross. But again, we can't do that. <laughs> Actually, pretty good cross here. Um, the first pair will set up pretty nicely. So I've already got this down. So I'm gonna do all the other uh, pieces in relation or uh, relative to it, like relative position. So uh, I'm gonna be tracing these. I already know that where they will be because I'm only gonna do. Uh, a U2. That's my only U face move for this cross. So this is going to be over here. And then I'm going to do an F and then another F. So those pieces should be together right there. And that's nice. So here we go. So put this right over here. U2. Then put this down. And then I've got D prime. Put this down. D2. And I can go straight into that. And I notice that just kind of whatever. Uh, then finish up with the rest. So yeah, uh, hopefully this helped. As you can see, uh, solving require or solving fast it requires a lot of planning, uh, and no one's perfect at it. Uh, you can always plan better. Um, and yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> 
Maybe I'll do more of these in the future as I continue to progress, but uh, just wanted to get this out here, kind of show how you show how I think through Cross and F2L at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching.